you think of the story? You know what I mean? I mean, Canelo, Canelo will win the rematch. Remember, you asked me a question that was important. That's a breadwinner. And the, the, the fucking rematch happened because it was the, the people that put it together to me. Because if you fight a stud, bro, we gonna probably got some problems, bro. We fight a mover, you know, you fight somebody strong, he got chances to, to work on that throughout the training process. Me, for instance, you can't train against that because I'm gonna box your ass, I'm gonna punch your ass, I'm gonna do everything. Triple G, we, ain't, we know we ain't seen him do this yet. What did my brother put him on his feet? Your brother's supposed to be fighting for a mandatory in the WBC. You still think he gonna get the winner of that? Even though he'll be mandatory? Mm -mm. The way things are going, man, this water tastes like some, 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 some minutes. They're trying to, they're trying to become, <laughs> calm me down. They're trying to calm me down or some shit. <laughs> you got some loot, and some lemons or something. So if everyone keeps ducking you and Jamal, how you guys get to the pay per view level? Or is that even important to get to pay per view? Um, you know, I'd rather box than I even have pay per view. You know, boxing don't deserve pay per view because it's not about money. Pay that, pay them guys like you pay them guys if they was getting pay per view. You know. Stop all that, oh, we hoping this, that stresses the fighter up. To me, Floyd had a lot of stress in his career because of the fact that he wanted to sell out shows, he wanted to get pay-per-view. Floyd really didn't have to do that because he really is Floyd Mayweather, you know what I mean? And much respect to him because he's the money man. And they have to respect him at the end of the day. And so, what if you take the stress on giving your family tickets and giving your, you know, worry about pay-per-view buys and stuff like that? Pay me, we don't even have to worry about that. Thank God, I have the right manager in my life. I don't got to worry about how much money I make. All I know is, every time I fight, I have went up. And what y'all see ain't what I get, period. And y'all don't worry about what I get, because I get money through all kind of ways. Sponsor, all kind of stuff. You know, I'm doing a great job at what I do. June 9th, you're in LA on the undercard of Wheel Santa Cruz. That's home for me. I, was I, live, in, I live in Los Angeles. Can I ask the question? No, man? I'm with you. Damn. <laughs> I was just about to say, will LA, will LA be your. What Raheem Radio at? Right. That's Raheem Radio. Radio Raheem. Radio Raheem. Radio Raheem. Radio Raheem. Radio Raheem. Radio Raheem. <laughs> will LA be your new. I was going to ask you, will LA be your. I know you have a home in the hills. You have your beautiful cars. I see you sometimes driving. Will LA be. You saw me? You I, I live in LA, yeah. Oh, so you saw me driving around? Yeah, I see you driving around. Yeah, you and your partners. Yeah, I see. So what I what, what I want to ask wow, you was, awesome. will LA be your new home? LA is home for me. In I'm terms of fighting. Well, no. We reside in Houston. I own a gym in Houston. I have a kid in Houston. Everything is in my house in Houston. So not, LA is not home for me. I'm recording a TV show. I kind of jumped into the second world of my life. And that's called entertainment still as well.